Hi there! This is Wally Wobblehead, and this is Wally Wobblehead's Quick Bite! Oh! Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Today is the... Working on coordinating my height. Um, today is uh, the 4th of October 2016, um, and thanks for tuning in today. We are going to show you, we being me and Ferdinando the Duck, Ferdinando, yes? Very exciting episode today. Um, eat more chicken eggs. That's all I have to say. Eat more. Right. So, um, poaching, uh, poaching chicken eggs, uh, or any eggs for that matter. Not just chicken eggs. Um, right. So uh, he's a duck. The understanding is that um, he promotes chicken egg eating. So, um, how do you do it? I am going to get started here, trying to stay in the picture. Um, so, we've got the, the trick, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get into all of the fun stuff behind egg poaching a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm using a vessel to make sure there's no gunk in the egg yolks. It's uh, water in a skillet at a simmer with about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. 160 to 180 degrees is where it should be. Um, I actually go a little bit higher than that. I've uh, I've uh, used a thermometer and checked out the um, the temperature readings. Like 190 is what I go with. So um, three eggs a day. Eggs are with regards to the macronutrients. They are. Um, Six grams of protein, about five grams of fat. They're high in cholesterol, so if you have a problem with cholesterol, um, monitor your egg intake. It might not be good, but the more and more um, that people are looking into it, the more that people are finding that eggs actually um, reduce uh, bad cholesterol levels, which is the um, LDL. Uh, AL, the HDL is the good high density. I'm looking back. You're right. And LDL is a bad, so eating eggs actually um, reduces cholesterol levels in, um, excuse me, most of the people that um, the experiment, the, the, you know, the, the research was done upon. Cool thing about poaching eggs, a lot of people are averse to it because it's a little bit tricky. But once you get it down, it's really the best way to try to maximize the nutrition from an egg, other than uh, soft boiling it, while still... Um, getting the taste and the texture of the egg yolk, which is something that um, I really enjoy. So rather than frying an egg, where you have to put down some additional fat into the bottom of a pan, unless you have some sort of super duper um, cooking utensil, which you probably, which you may, but um, chances are you're going to have to add some sort of fat to it. Um, you're getting you're maximizing the nutrition with the egg without having to add additional fat. Um, people scramble eggs, which is delicious, but you typically are loaded up with cheese or some sort of additional flavorings. This, you're getting the egg all together. These eggs are um, farm fresh, a difference. Um, you know, cage-raised chickens uh, tend to eat relatively bad things, and as a result, the eggs they produce aren't as healthy as farm-raised, uh, you know, range uh, free range eggs. Time is uh, clocking down here, but as you can see, I like to, as we get through the cooking process, I like to toss them or to, to turn them once, just to, which is not a necessary step, but by doing so, for some reason I feel like it, um, like I'm actually cooking the yolks a little bit more. So these are almost ready to go. In addition, how I like to serve them, and this is my, uh, my go-to meal during the week. I've got, uh, this is just some standard coleslaw that you get in a bag from the uh, grocery store. Uh, in addition, I've got, this is uh, a gluten-free wobble. So what I like to do is to, without getting it all over, the kitchen. I throw one on top of the other, so we've got coleslaw on the bottom, 
our shredded cabbage and, and carrots, and then the gluten-free on the top. You invert it. Then you've got yourself a nice little plate. You put a little dent in the top of it. Now one of the things to remember when you're poaching eggs, there's always going to be water in there. So use a plate. When you take it out, kind of lift them. Gets the water off. Anyhow, the long story, or the, the, sh the short answer with eggs is to, to talk to your physician. If you've got cholesterol problems, don't eat four eggs a day. I eat three a day. My cholesterol is fine. I'm also very active and I eat relatively well. So what I'm doing now is just draining off the water. So it's really like a 10 minute procedure from start to finish. And then I am laying it on top. And there we go. Wally Wobblehead's quick bite. Wally Wobblehead actually eating something, three poached eggs on top of gluten-free wobble. And you can see you get the delicious runny eggs. And now I try not to get it all over myself, which I'm normally pretty good at. The number one best sauce. Egg yolks. Thank you. This is Wally Wobblehead's Quick Bite. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow.